Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people, and we got another Transformer to review, and this is the repaint of Vertebrae Dragon, which is his name, so yeah. He is a repaint of Vertebrae, and he is a fossilizer. Yep, and he doesn't stand very well. You gotta get his feet in this particular angle to get him to stand. Before we look at the figure, we're gonna look at the package in. Dragoon is a nice looking dinosaur figure, and he is a Maximal. Nice product shot of him in his beastie mode. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom. 14 steps to transform, which is pretty cool. Shot of him in his robot mode. And that's all there is to say for the package in. Now we're going to look at the paint sculpt on this figure. It is very good for a fossilizer. I've never picked any of these up, but they are pretty cool looking. Even the head sculpt looks pretty mean and terrifying. You get the maximal insignia, I think, on his head somewhere. I can't make it out here on camera. It's quite difficult to make it out on camera. But now we're going to transform this Maximal in his, into his robot mode. First we're going to flip these legs down, fold out his arms like so. His lower body is almost all done. We're going to Fold down the Maximal Insignia and flip out his head. See if I can get closely on that Maximal Insignia because it's giving me a hard trouble on camera. It's really, really tiny. I might have to attempt to sign a flashlight on it. Come on. And see, he's a Maximal. He's a good-looking Maximal. And yeah, it's not a bad-looking figure. For especially a repaint of Vertebrae. It turned out pretty cool. Why did I pick him up, you're probably wondering? Well, I'm trying to add more Maximals to my Beast Wars shelf and more Predacons as well. I picked this guy up for like 10 bucks, and around like 10 bucks, and he was worth the money. A good looking figure for what it is, and it looks pretty cool. Articulation, he's got bend at the knee, roughly. Ball jointed ankle tilt, which is nice. So you can get him in some good poses and be like, take this, Predacon, slash. A lot of good posability. Head is on a ball joint. Get some movement out of it, which is nice. But now, for comparison, we got my Vintage. Beast Wars, Rat Trap, or Retro Vintage, Beast Wars, Rat Trap. Not a bad looking figure to compare this to. And that's all there is to say for comparison. I only had the one. I'm going to try to do more Maximals and Predacons in the future because it just looks so cool. And I'm so glad I'm picking these up and starting my own Beast Wars collection. If you watch the Beast Wars cartoons, like I did on uh, Tubi, then they are worth checking out and putting on your Transformers toy collection. I dig them. They're fun figures to transform and mess around with. And he is definitely... Going on my shelf with Rat Trap. And that's all there is to say for this video. If you like this video, please make sure to like, make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.